what's going on guys we are back with another video um currently i am at Orlando speed world um it's pretty chilly outside it's uh 65 degrees outside and uh we're gonna see what we um run tonight or right, my first pass tonight right here so first pass was 11.0 at 126. When it shifted first, I did just flash the car. When I when it shifted on top of first, it hiccuped for a second. So that's probably where I lost the time. We'll see if it does it again this next pass. Hopefully not. Hopefully we get a decent pass and um, we'll see where everything goes. The only shitty part is that, so my fuse, so a penny had fell into my um, 12 volt little cigarette lighter and um, it broke the fuse and I don't know which fuse it is because I can't find my manual so and there's no nothing online so I can't fix my fuse until I figure out which fuse it is my issue is that my computer is not charged because I, I thought that I would have that tonight and my phone that I use to flash the car is partially charged. So I'm pretty much gonna be stuck on the same map for the rest of the night, which kind of sucks, but I'm just gonna deal with it and hope that the map is good enough. I know I was making adjustments on it. So I'm hoping that the car runs the boost that it should be. This pass theoretically should be a little bit better. So I'm going with the flow and seeing what happened. I'll keep you guys updated. Alrighty guys, so we just went again. The car did not hiccup. It did do, uh, did uh, 1088 at 126, so I lost the mile an hour, probably just because of heat soak. I'm kind of screwed because I can't make any adjustments on the map, so I'm just gonna have to run with the map and hope that I can get a 107 with it. We'll see as the night, you know, temperature drops. All right, so that was the pool. I was in right lane, uh, 48, a 157, 60 foot, which honestly is not bad at all. My eighth mile, mile per hour is normally uh, 99 to 100 so I lost two mile an hour there two to three so that kind of affected we'll see what the next pass does I am I'm just I'm happy I'm I'm mainly happy just due to the fact that um, when I first got the car and I had just the tune on it the car just had a tune on it and I had raced um, Andrew from uh, Mustang lifestyle if you guys don't know um, I think this is the Instagram page if it will uh, if it will read right here Mustang lifestyle and um, I think I was running maybe 11 five I don't remember to be honest I think it was like 11 five or whatnot I'm not sure what's done to his car I know that it's stock in some but it has a lot of weight reduction I'm just not sure the total mods maybe he can uh, tell us in the comments below or once I find out I'll post them he whooped my ass all right that car took off and I was like okay okay so then he posted up a video just saying it'd be the Supra and you know it was much love so finally tonight came out and he ended up being here we ended up running the first time and my car hiccuped when it shifted from first to second. So he beat me and he went like 10-7. Um, the second pass was actually a really good pass. I guess his car had a little bit of heat soak, so it went 10-9. He had a really good pass earlier, but I finally was able to beat him. I got him on the tree and you know, the car just kept pulling away. I'll show you guys the results right now. guys and my last pass was uh it was a 10-9 at 123 i'm not sure what exactly happened um i haven't even checked the data log yet um i just decided to cut uh pretty much cut the night uh, i'm not gonna do any more passes just for the simple fact that i cannot um add more power to the car tonight and i think it's just gonna keep doing 10-8s um because when I got my 10.8.0, I wasn't running the map that I'm running now. I made some other changes, so and I can't, I couldn't flash anything, so I was kind of screwed either way, and I didn't realize until I got to the track. So I'm gonna be back out Friday. I'll make sure everything's charged. Um, I might just go over to the streetcar lane. That way I can get some footage on the GoPro of you know me actually racing cars, um, and we'll see what the, what the car does. Um, I'm, I'm glad that, uh, I got my win tonight against Andrew. Um, we have, it's, it's a really close race with me and him, so it's pretty fun. Um, 
so we'll see. We'll see what happens, and um, hopefully I can finally break out of my 10-8 curse and get into the 10-7s. So, so our 10-9 boost, our 10-8 um, at 127 tonight was on a lower boost setting. Hopefully on Friday we will turn it up and we will see what happens. This was literally our boost for our 10-8 pass. Literally at 19, about 20-ish on the shift and then about 18, 19 up by top. Even fourth gear was 18-ish pretty much the whole way. So there's still a lot more room. Um, I'm glad that it went 10.8 with, with just 18, 19 PSI, so I can't wait to see what it does with 21 or 22. We'll find out Friday. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys want more, please tell me you guys want more. Um, I'll try to get more um, track, you know, videos, stuff like that. That way to keep you guys entertained and uh, I'll let you guys know on the build. Also, I got a secret coming up soon and uh, Let's just say that the WRX is making a comeback. Um, for those that didn't know, in order to get the Supra, I had to get rid of the STI. So um, my wife now has the WRX and I kind of had to put it back to stock. Um, that way I could focus a little bit on the Supra. And now that I have this little deal going on, I may have the WRX back who knows we'll see what happens I'll keep you guys updated because I got a lot of parts to test on the WRX so all my you know WRX customers be on the lookout all right so peace out guys make sure you like the video make sure you share it um, if you haven't subscribed hey hit that subscribe button hit that follow button um, I'm gonna keep coming out with videos all right peace out